Hey, what's up everyone? Pase Bora here. This is the fourth game that we have for today, January 19, 2024, NBA Game Day. This is a Western Conference matchup between Phoenix Suns and uh, New Orleans Pelicans. This one will happen at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. That's going to be 9 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. And I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pase Baller, please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. Approaching this game, Phoenix Suns, they got a record of 22 wins and 18 losses, while for New Orleans Pelicans, they have a record of 25 and 17. We provide free picks right here in our YouTube channel, but for those who would want to avail our premium picks or premium packages, you might want to reach us through Instagram, Telegram, WhatsApp, or even Messenger. Just check on the descriptions of our videos and you would see the details right there. The spread, by the way, that is given is minus 2. And that's given towards New Orleans Pelicans. New Orleans Pelicans, they would have the home court advantage on this. Um, in terms of momentum, though, uh, we got to give it to Phoenix Suns because uh, approaching this game, they are on a three-game winning streak. For their last 10 games, uh, the Suns have won seven, uh, which is the same with the Pelicans. You know, they have also won seven, seven out of their last 10. But approaching this game, the Pelicans, uh, they are just coming off one win. So a slight advantage should be given, should be given to Phoenix. For uh, fatigue, well, both teams are coming off rest, so we can, we can just skip that part. And let's go ahead and take a look at the health and availability of both teams. Starting with the New Orleans, um, Matt Ryan is actually confirmed out. And we have uh, Sebron, uh, who is actually tagged as a uh, game time decision for New Orleans. So the uh, two players in IL, one is confirmed out, one is tagged as game time decision. Now for Phoenix Suns. I also see a couple of players, but both are confirmed out. And those are Damian Lee and Ball Ball for Phoenix. So again, um, I'm going to give a slight advantage towards New Orleans because uh, they have one player who is confirmed out, but the other is just tagged as game time decision. So there is a still this possibility that that player may suit up for them. All right, so let's talk about this one. This one's going to be tough. A Western Conference matchup. Two Western Conference teams. Uh, which have been on a roll lately. Again, both teams have won seven out of their last ten games. Uh, both are a both are actually coming off wins. Um, so this one's you know this one's almost a toss coin. The spread that is given is just minus two, and they actually they actually gave it towards the the, the home team, and that's New Orleans. Um, again, this is going to be tricky. Uh, one can actually provide a lot of reasons as to why New Orleans may win, and one can also provide a lot of you know a lot of reasons as to why Phoenix Suns would actually could actually win this matchup too. Uh, but for me, I'm gonna pick Phoenix Suns because of uh, the momentum that they are having. Again, they are on the three-game winning streak. Uh, their you know their offense uh, is just catapulting right now. Uh, they are complete. You know their big three. Uh, would be here in this particular matchup. And the thing about Phoenix Suns is that um, aside from the, the big three that they have, they also have other players um, who can actually apply uh, defense towards their opponent. We're talking about Nurkic. We're talking about Grayson Allen, you know. For the New Orleans Pelicans, you know, um, some some of some of the main guys that they have, some some of uh, some of their uh, offensive players um, for New Orleans would be the same defenders that you know that they would need to have to apply towards Beal, towards Booker, towards KD. Uh, well, you know that would actually add add up to to the fatigue of those offensive players, which can actually affect you know the way they actually score the ball. You know what I'm saying? Unlike again, unlike Nurkic, you know he can actually go out there and he can just actually go uh, go ahead and try to focus. Um, in applying defense towards a paint and grabbing those rebounds, um, also Grayson Allen, um, if ever he would actually need to, you know, to put, you know, to put the clamp on McCollum, um, he can actually just do that, you know, whenever he just needs to, whenever he has the opportunity to take those three-point shots, you know, Grayson Allen has been, you know, has been sharp lately too. So again, the big three of Phoenix Suns, KD, Booker, Bradley Beal, I just trust the way they can actually score the ball. KD averaging 28 points, Booker averaging 26, Bradley Beal averaging 18 points. You know, just a matter of like a couple of weeks or so, Bradley Beal will be at around 20 point mark. You know what I'm saying? So um, I'm going to start with Phoenix Suns and I'll just go ahead and take 
you know, take that plus two as a, you know, as some sort of a safety net. I know there would be a lot of advantages that New Orleans Pelicans would have since they are at home, but I feel like the offense of Phoenix Suns would be, you know, would be more than enough to actually give them the W, if not at least uh, allow them to cover the spread. I'm expecting a huge win from KD on this one. Again, it's Phoenix Suns plus two. Suns plus two. Peace out. Pass I love it. God bless.